Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope that everyone is doing great. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So in the 15 or 16 years or so that I've been natural now, I spent a good portion of that time being so, so scared to straighten my hair. Heat damage was on my mind. I would have to hype myself up, talk myself into actually straightening it over the course of like almost a year to several years. I think it was like a three year period at one point that I didn't straighten my hair because I was so scared. I wear my hair curly the majority of the time, but from that like October through February type of time period, my hair is probably going to be straight from here on out. That's because I now see my straight hair almost like a protective style. So not in your traditional sense where your ends are tucked away or your hair might be tucked away in general. Actually makes my hair healthier in the long run and these are four reasons why. So if you've been subscribed to my channel, you know that one of the central themes of my entire natural hair journey. A whole subcategory of my channel is pretty much dedicated to detangling. The horrors of detangling are something I've dealt with my entire life. My hair tangles much more than the average person. The last time I went to a stylist, she told me that I have naturally sticky strands that no matter whether my hair is straight, curly, or relaxed, my strands wanna to stick together and hang out and that makes detangling a nightmare. So many things that work for 99.9% .9 of the population do not work for me no matter what. And that translates into horrible detangling sessions on a regular basis no matter what I do, how many things I've tried, how many products, all that jazz. I finally have a detangling routine that has decreased the pain level, but I don't think there's ever gonna be something that I truly find to ever make detangling easy for me. So when my hair is straight, that is the most thorough, the most pain-free detangling that my hair gets. When my hair is curly, no matter how thorough I am, how gentle, how much time I take, it always tangles and mats back like that. It's just, it's a lot. Although my hair still tangles a lot when it's straight, especially at the hot spot areas at my roots, I'm still able to detangle it so much more thoroughly. Every square inch of my hair is able to be thoroughly detangled. And that's just something that I cannot do when my hair is natural. The part of my hair that's the most difficult to detangle is right smack dab right here in the middle of my crown. It is just so hard to do. Not only because my hair naturally tangles so much, but because it is so thick, all that stuff compounded, it makes it really hard. So being able to get all the shed hair that I've missed, being able to get every single tangle out of my hair, makes my resulting wash days after going back curly much, much better. The last time that I saw this in action was when I tried out this extended straight hair thing the last go round. And let me tell you, my curls looked so so good it just really benefited from having that thorough detangling session that I'm just not able to do when it's curly another huge benefit to having my hair straight I'm able to attack almost every single single strand knot and split on my hair which for the majority of the time is impossible I make sure to stay up on my trimming schedule at the beginning of every new season when my hair is curly but there's only so much I can do because stuff gets lost and hides in between the curls but when my hair is straight there is nowhere to run <laughs> nowhere to hide so I've actually not done it this time. I did trim my hair right before I straightened it and right after. I've maybe cut off about three inches, but there's still single strand knots and splits hiding up in the wings here. So with my hair being straight, I can really see what needs to go. And my hair afterwards, just like before with me being able to detangle thoroughly, my curly styles turn out so much better. My detangling sessions are worlds different without having those little areas that are snagging that I've missed previously. When my hair is straight, I almost see it as like a pruning session. It takes me a long time, but that's when I put on like a podcast or a true crime documentary and just go to town for hours until I've gotten every single one of those single strand knots and every single split cut. Even the ones that are like way up on a strand, it gets cut. And being so incredibly thorough with that process makes my hair behave so much better when it's curly. And since I'm pretty much starting from zero after that point, I end up having a lot less to deal with the next time. So I have a little prop here with some of my shed hair that I wanted to show you guys what exactly I am cutting. So hopefully it will pick it up Oh yeah, you can see right here, there's a nice split right here on the end of this strand, and I will cut that. Or you may have something like this. Let me see if I'll be able to get it to show you. So this, you see that split right there? 
where it's like really kind of farther up on the strand I will cut that also the third way that wearing my hair straight makes my hair healthier in the long run is all about my mental state when it comes to dealing with my hair this for me is something that cannot be underestimated you guys it was a five-hour detangling session with me crying in the shower just at a loss at what to do that made me texturize my hair previously it makes me so happy when I see comments on my channel from people who like me have tangles that the average person just can't can't understand well intentioned as they may be there's so many people who have given me tips over the years of what to do and those things just don't work for me it's been very trial and so much error in finding a detangling routine that works for me and there are a few people out there I think who actually know the depths of what I'm talking about you guys when it comes to my detangling session so being able to have this break from that is so so nice you guys should have seen a day in my life straight hair video previous to this one maybe about two weeks ago if my scheduling right now turns out the way that I plan where I go through my detangling routine how I protect my hair in the shower when it's straight my go-to styles I'm actually editing that video right now and it's so hard for me to edit down the detangling routine because for most people when they have their hair straight they're able to just brush and go they don't even think about it but for me my hair still tangles up very much that I can't just go in with a comb and be done in five minutes it's a it's a process but mentally my hair takes so much energy you guys it is a lot even with me having really great products having a routine that works for me wash day is still pretty much a whole day so having these extended breaks from doing my hair on a weekly basis the whole wash day shebang of pre-pooing detangling shampooing styling having an extended break from that is wonderful I absolutely love it I've had my hair braided in the past but it's all been using my hair because I don't trust anyone to do any other style on my hair that includes added hair number one because of the length of my hair they're probably gonna charge me an arm and a leg which I do not have and number two I don't know how my hair would respond and my scalp would respond to having added hair I've just never done that and I've never really had the desire to have any styles that require that so for me having my hair straightened for an extended period of time is a protective style and that is protecting my mental health because that y'all wash day can be a lot I am just I need that break it makes such a big difference also having my hair straight is so different than wearing my hair natural my hair does not like to be in a lot of different styles I can't do a bunch of rod sets I can't do um, I can't do most things my hair likes wash and goes twists and twist outs from those part that's it as much as I love those styles it gets so boring you guys it gets so so boring so being able to have my hair straight where I can try different things I can do like a cute little braid I can do a different sort of bun those things are very simple but for me they're different enough to where that quenches my like boredom a lot so being able to have that break from wash day and being able to switch it up with my styles helps my mental health helps me not do anything drastic with my hair that I'm not ready to do like a texturizer it really makes a big difference and the fourth reason that wearing my hair straight actually makes it healthier in the long run is the main reason why I kind of see this as like a protective style, albeit not in the traditional sense that most people would think of a protective style. Now, as I mentioned, my hair is very, very high maintenance. There are certain things that I have to do in order for things to go right on wash day, pretty much. And one of those things is smoothing. My hair responds very well to smoothing during every single step in my wash day. Everything from pre pooing all the way to styling. My hair likes this type of situation smoothing and smoothing and smoothing since my hair doesn't do well with any type of brush including the new brush that I told you guys about this one that I think I featured in my Black Friday haul and we're gonna talk about this brush later because I'm gonna be selling it to one of you guys if someone is interested but this is the what is it called this is the curl brush from heat free hair that I'm sure that many of you have seen all over Instagram this little beauty right here I was so excited about this. This was like my last hurrah into trying styling tools for my hair. And it did not work, you guys. It did not work. I'm so sad. It's a dual sided brush. This one is kind of like a Denman for defining. And this one is meant for detangling your hair. Y'all, I've used this a total of two times. So it's virtually brand new. But I've used this a total of two times, both on my straight hair and when my hair was wet, full of conditioner in the shower my hair just can't do tools you guys this was my last hurrah this is it so more details is in this video if you might be interested in purchasing this because y'all 
I just can't. But with all that smoothing, although it helps my hair and I can't do without it, it is quite a bit of manipulation. So not having to worry about that while my hair is straight is so, so nice. I feel like it gives it a really nice break. Even with me detangling it, it's nowhere near as much manipulation and handling as I usually put it through on wash day when my hair is curly. And although I'm still working in that day in the life video, which will in Ashley time be going up tomorrow, and hopefully you guys will have seen it by now, I rarely wear my hair down when it's straight. It gets caught in doors. It gets caught on buttons it gets caught so many places and it really really hurts it dries out quicker and it's just it's just a lot so most of the time when my hair is straight it's still in a protective style inadvertently because my hair just thrives when it's put up in a way it doesn't love to be worn down even though I love the look of it but it's just it's a lot so you're gonna catch me in like a single braid a bun very very rarely do I wear it down because it's just a lot of hair to deal with so those are the four ways that wearing my hair straight actually makes me and my hair healthier in the long run I know a lot of people swear off heat styling and I totally get it just the threat of heat damage is very very scary and I'm hoping that I'm not gonna eat my words and when I go back to wash this that I have any sort of heat damage but I had such a positive experience the first time that I did this whole extended run of straight hair that I did pretty much the same exact things that I did this time so hopefully I will be safe against heat damage but as long as I don't have any issues like that this is gonna be part of my regular schedule a program pretty much from here on out every winter and it is so nice I love it and it also makes me appreciate my curls because as much as I love my straight hair I love my hair curly more so I'm kind of starting to get that itch starting to look forward to wash day my scalp is still doing pretty good my hair looks really good still I think I just miss my curls and I am going on a trip soon that I did not think I was going on when I first straightened my hair so I'm actually planning to go back curly sooner than later because I'm not trying to worry about you know walking getting my hair sweaty or none of that on my trip I just want to enjoy have fun and let the curls be free so as I mentioned with this brush it is all over Instagram I actually saw it on an ad from the shade room and I usually don't pay attention to those ads on the shade room because they're for like random stuff I'm not really interested in but this really caught my eye I went on their Instagram page and this worked on so many different people so that gave me hope that maybe just maybe this would be the detangling tool to make detangling easier for me and as I mentioned, I tried it on straight hair and I tried it on my curly hair conditioner, the works. And I'm just not meant for hair tools, you guys. I'm just not. My hair did okay with brushes the last time that I wore it straight, but this time it was still painful. I felt like I was still pulling out more hair than I should when brushing and it just wasn't gentle. So I went back to, I don't have it right here, but if you, hair getting in my eye, but if you saw my video all about the day in the life of my straight hair, I show the blue white tooth comb that I use after finger detangling my straight hair. That's the only tool that's gonna touch my hair from here on out. And I've had that blue comb for over 20 years. I love that comb. So this is my last time trying any hair tools because I've spent so much money over the years, you guys, on so many different ones, and they just don't work. So, if you have seen this brush and you've wanted to try it, the brush that does the most so you don't have to, if only that was the case for me, if only. Whoever is the first person to email me, letting me know that they're interested in it, it's kind of like a first come, first serve type of thing, and I will get this shipped out to you. I was excited about this, and my best friend was like, you don't do well with brushes. Are you sure you want to do that? So hopefully whoever gets this brush next ends up having much better luck with it than I did. So with my trip coming up pretty soon, I don't think I have much longer with this straight hair. I'm going to try something kind of fun that I've been wanting to do when my hair is straight for a long time. I'm going to film it so we'll see together if it turns out cute or not. But that's going to be kind of like my little last hurrah before I go back to my curls. But I'm excited about it. I think I have maybe two weeks max left with this straight hair. Maybe Maybe not even that so we'll see how that goes because I'm really starting to miss my curls and I want to start doing some prep for my trip if you like to switch pretty frequently between wearing your hair natural and wearing it straightened let me know any things you've noticed over the years what's been your experience so that is everything you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up that really helps to boost my channel into the algorithm likewise if you haven't subscribed already please do so as well that would be awesome remember that as of right now I upload videos every Friday so I will see you in the next one take care guys Bye.